Hello students, my name is Professor Mohammad Asim <coughs> and we are doing AdMath. AdMath for IGCSE students which have syllabus code 0606 and for CIE O level students which have syllabus code 4037. So both kind of students can get equal benefit from this course. Students in last lecture we did some questions from past papers of the topic differentiation. Today we will continue the same topic differentiation and we'll do some more questions from past papers let's have a look question number nine find the equation of the normal to the curve y equals to x square plus 8 over x minus 2 at the point on the curve where x is equals to 4 we did lot of questions of differentiation for to find the equation of curve so it is very easy first write the equation of the curve y equals 2 x square plus 8 over x minus 2 the value of x is given 4 so y is equals to find the value of y 4 square plus 8 upon 4 minus 2 4 square 16 plus 8 upon 4 minus 2 is 2 24 upon 2 is 12 so x1 y1 x is given 4 y we obtain 12 now the second thing is to find the gradient of tangent that is derivative of the function so you can see it is uh, rational function so we have to use u upon v square formula so v square v as it is dot dot means multiply derivative of u that is 2x minus u as it is derivative of x minus 2 derivative of x is 1 and the derivative of 2 is 0. Simplify it. 2x square minus 4x minus x square minus 8 upon x minus 2 square. 2x square minus x square is x square minus 4x minus 8 upon x minus 2 whole square now satisfy this gradient of tangent which always assigned by mt m stands for gradient and t stands for tangent x is equals to 4 so 4 square minus 4 into 4 minus 8 upon 4 minus 2 is square 4 square is 16 4 for the 16 minus 8 upon 4 minus 2 is 2 2 square is 4 so 16 16 cancel and 4 to the minus 8 so this is our gradient of tangent but we need gradient of normal you know negative reciprocal of gradient of tangent is the gradient of normal so minus 2 reciprocal negative reciprocal is 1 upon 2 so mn is equals to 1 upon 2 now we have to find the equation of normal y minus y1 is equals to mn time x minus x1 y minus y1 what we obtained y you can see 12 y is 12 so y minus y1 is 12 is equals to mn is 1 upon 2 we obtain x minus x1 x1 is given 4 so 2 into y 2y 2 12 are 24 is equals to x minus 4 So 2y 
is equals to x minus 4 minus 20 plus 24 2y is equals to x 24 minus 4 is 20 or you can write uh, divide 2 by both sides so 1 upon 2x 1 upon 2x plus 20 upon 2 is 10 so our final answer is y equals to 1 upon 2x plus 10 hope you enjoy this question this question has 6 marks and this question came in May June 2013 paper 2 1 and 2 3 both the same question came in both papers let's have a look next question number 10 differentiate with respect to x very easy part number one 3 minus 5 x 12 the rule is to write power first subtract 1 from the power 12 minus 1 is 11 multiply by the derivative of the function that is derivative of 3 minus 5 x 3 derivative 0 minus 5 x minus 5 Hence the final answer is 12 fives are minus 60, 3 minus 5x power 11. Very easy, very, very easy. Next part. Find the derivative of x square sin x. So we have to use this time u into v formula because this is in product form. u time derivative of sin x cos x plus v time derivative of x square that is 2x. So x square cos x plus 2x sin x is our answer. Hope you enjoy this part as well. Next, part number three. Part number three is to find the derivative of 10x upon 1 plus e2x. This time we have to use u upon v formula because the function is divide. So v square v as it is derivative of 10x is sec square x minus 10x derivative of 1 plus e2x 1 derivative is 0 and e2x derivative is e2x into derivative of 2x which is 2 don't forget to write the derivative of the function so our final answer is just Simplify it and write the answer. So 1 plus e 2x sec square x minus 2 e 2x 10x upon 1 plus e 2x whole square. This is our final answer. So very easy question, too easy, three parts and this question came in May June 2013 paper 2-2. Two, two. Next question, 11. A curve has a equation y equals to 3x plus 1 upon x minus 4 3 find dy by dx and d square y by dx square so first write the equation y is equals to 3x plus x minus 4 to the power minus 3 in this form and then write the derivative very easy 3x derivative is 3 and x minus 4 to the power minus 3 is minus 3 
x minus 4 minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4 so 3 minus 3 upon x minus 4 minus 4 converted to plus 4 is our final answer next we have to find the second derivative very easy find the derivative of this answer of part 1 so derivative of 3 is 0 minus 3 and the derivative of x minus 4 to the power minus 4 we have to write minus 4 first then x minus 4 to the power minus 4 minus 1 is minus 5 3 4 is a 12 12 upon x minus 4 to the power 5 so answer of part 1 we have obtained say first derivative as well as second derivative what is next part show that show that the, the coordinates of the stationary point on the curve is 5 16 and 3 8 very easy what was the answer of our derivative dy by dx is 3 minus 3 upon x minus 4 to the power 4 in order to find the stationary point replace dy by dx by 0 3 minus 3 upon x minus 4 to the power 4 move this 3 upon x minus 4 to the power 4 on other side so 3 cancel by 3 so x minus 4 to the power 4 is equals to 1 because x minus 4 to the power 4 multiplied by 1 is x minus 4 to the power 4 taking square root on both sides so square root of 1 is plus minus 1 x minus 4 is 1 x minus 4 is minus 1 x is equals to 5 x is equals to 3 now put this answer x is equals to 5 and x is equal to 3 in the equation of curve our equation of curve is given in the question is y is equals to 3x plus 1 upon x minus 4 3 so y is equals to fir first put the value of x is 5 5 minus 4 3 3 5 is a 15 plus 1 upon 5 minus 4 is 1 1 power 3 is 1 so 15 plus 1 is 16 so first coordinate is x is 5 y is 16 now put the value of x 3 in this equation of given curve so 3 into 3 plus 1 upon 3 minus 4 to the power 3 so what should be the answer 3 3 is a 9 plus 1 upon 3 minus 4 is minus 1 minus 1 cube is minus 1 so 9 minus 1 is 8 so second point is x is 3 y is 8 and this is the requirement see this show that the coordinates of the stationary points on the curve 5 16 3 8 and, and our answer is 5 16 and 3 8 so this is our final answer the next part determine the nature of each stationary point very easy what was the answer of our double derivative we have find in part number one 12 upon x minus 4 to the power 5 
so we have the values of x r what was our values of x we just find 5 and 3 5 comma 3 so first put 5 x is 5 minus 4 to the power 5 so 12 upon 5 minus 4 is 1 1 power 5 is 1 so 12 upon 1 is 12 12 is greater than 0 so someone the, if the value of the function is if the value of the double derivative is greater than 0 then the answer is minimum so x 5 3 when the value of x is 5 the value the answer is minimum value now put x is 3 so 3 minus 4 to the power 5 12 upon 3 minus 4 is minus 1 minus 1 power 5 is minus 1 so it is minus 12 which is less than 0 so if the answer is negative then the function is maximum so 5 gives minimum and minus 12 gives maximum this is our final answer a and s hope you enjoy today's class we did three questions today question number 9 10 and 11 some more questions are left I promise I will do all these past papers question in coming lectures so kindly do work hard do as many questions as you can in order to get good command of this in this topic and I request all of you kindly share my videos share my channel as many as you can and don't forget to subscribe my channel okay students good luck for next lecture